The other week I posted a video on flying on what was easily the strongest wind I've ever actually flown in, down at Cape Cornwall. Crazy, crazy flight, but it really did show how incredible the Mini 3 Pro is in, in pretty much crazy strong winds. But some of you asked about why some of the screen recordings were covered in red, which is absolutely nothing to do with the wind, but instead, actually because of a disastrous flight I'd actually made a few days before at Stonehenge. Uh, that night I'd actually camped the van for the night at Stonehenge and was, I was up bright and early for sunrise. But unfortunately, when I played back the photos and video on the big screen, I found that some of the footage was completely unusable. It was completely out of focus. Very disappointing as you can guess, pretty miffed, getting up at 5 a.m. for sunrise only to lose quite a few shots and footage because of something as basic as being out of focus. So I thought I'd do a very quick video today on why that happened and of course how you can actually avoid it happening to yourselves. So first off, why did it actually go so wrong at Stonehenge? Well in truth, I didn't obviously notice things were out of focus on the uh, small RC screen, but as said, it was 5 a.m. and I was probably a little bit bleary eyed anyway, but it was probably because of the very first thing I did when taking off and filming the sunrise. I was using the on-screen zoom. It's a little button to the left of the shutter button and I was experimenting to see if using the screen, uh, using the zoom rather, would just bring the sun a little bit closer to the stones. And whilst I did get some nice pictures, I probably knocked the button just below it, which of course is the focus mode button. Now this button sets the drone into autofocus or manual mode, and this is probably what went wrong for me. Normally, I would always leave this in autofocus mode. Autofocus works for 99% of uh, situations, and it works really fine. But, of course, it's very easy to knock, especially if you've got fat fingers. And then, if it goes into manual mode, that's where things can go a little bit wrong if you don't notice that that little AF has disappeared. Now, manual focus is all well and good, but I don't normally trust myself to get it right when I'm viewing on such a small screen like the, um, the RC remote. You can adjust things with the slider that appears when you tap and slide the MF button. It goes up and down, you can see things coming in and out of focus. But as I said, it's very easy to see that after the event on a large screen, but when you are filming, it is very easy to be out of focus and not realize it. And that is where the red dots that people saw on my other video in Cape Cornwall come in. Because after that focusing disaster, I went in and switched on something called focus peaking, which you get to by tapping the three dots top right, scrolling across the camera, then down to focus peaking. This really is a brilliant but very simple visual aid to making sure you have got things in perfect focus when you're using manual focus mode. The red dots simply show which parts of the picture are in perfect focus so that you don't have to guess and estimate by just viewing on the screen. And you can see it here as I slide the focus up and down, how things come in and out of focus when you get the red overlay. Now you actually have three levels uh, on focus peaking. If you like to use manual focus a lot, then you will probably want to use normal strength. The high setting can be a little bit too distracting as everything becomes red. And conversely, the low setting is almost invisible where hardly anything is red. So I guess just like uh, the three bears, uh, you will probably find the middle one is just right for you. It really is a brilliant setting and it reassures you that everything you're filming is always in perfect focus. Now, it's useful, but it's not infallible. And in truth, you really do need to keep checking that you still have that AF appearing on screen because the red overlay only appears when you're in manual focus mode. It doesn't appear at all in autofocus mode. So if you don't see red on your screen, then you are either getting everything fine because it's in focus and you're using autofocus, or you have accidentally knocked it into manual mode and everything is so out of focus, you're not seeing any red anywhere, which of course is not great. You see here, when I'm in manual mode, it's all out of focus. So there is no red dot anywhere on the screen. So what do you do? If you like using autofocus, then my advice is this. You go into settings, you turn on focus peaking and you set it to high. And this last point is really important because it means that if you accidentally knock it into manual focus mode, you will almost certainly see red dots somewhere on the screen because at least something is going to be in focus. And so if you see red dots, you know that you are no longer in autofocus mode and you can very easily switch it back to autofocus mode. Simple. 
Now, on the other hand, if you actually do like making use of manual focus mode, then as I said, you're probably gonna find normal strength setting is better. Uh, high might just be a little bit too overpowering, but then of course, you do run a little bit more of a risk of not seeing red dots if you have accidentally knocked things into manual mode. So you, you've got to keep on checking that that AF is there when you're flying, unless you've manually chosen to go into manual mode. But for most of you who just want to use autofocus every time, focus peaking, too high, and you should always be good, as it will only show red if you've accidentally come out of auto mode. So that's it. Again, one of these little things that's straightforward once you know. Um, easy video today though, but one that can absolutely make a huge difference, pretty much the difference between disaster and perfection. So look, as ever, if you like it, give me a little thumbs up, always helps the cause, and uh, drop the comments below on what other little settings uh, work for you, especially in camera settings. It's always good to uh, see what works for different people. Either way, look, until next time, hope you're all well and good. Have fun, happy flying.